So what are the average Camp Lejeune water contamination settlement amounts? Hi, my name is Charles Bust, and I'm a personal injury attorney in Orlando, Florida. And today we're going to be talking more about how you might go about estimating settlement amounts for the Camp Lejeune water contamination lawsuit. So let's get right into it. It's estimated that these Camp Lejeune water contamination lawsuits could be worth anywhere from a few thousand dollars all the way up to over a million dollars. And the big question here is what makes one claim more valuable than another? Why would one case be potentially worth a million bucks while another may only be worth a few thousand bucks? Well, that's what this video is all about. What each claim is worth is going to boil down to some very critical factors. For one, what's the nexus between the injured person's condition or illness and the contaminants found in the water at Camp Lejeune? Here, we're going to be looking at whether there has been some sort of scientific study that has linked that condition or illness to the contaminants in the water. As you might imagine, a stronger claim, a claim with more value, would likely be a claim involving a condition that has been proven to be linked to the contaminants in the water, like any one of the eight presumptive conditions on the VA's website. Another important factor is time. Specifically, we're talking about the temporal connection between the onset of the illness and the exposure to the contaminants. In other words, how long after being exposed to the contaminants in the water at Camp Lejeune did a person develop that illness or condition? So, where the onset of the condition or illness occurred soon after the person was exposed to the contaminated water, that might be a stronger claim. Whereas if a person develops a condition years after exposure to the contaminants, this claim may be weaker. Now, this may not be the case when we're dealing with one of the presumptive conditions. After all, they've already said those conditions are linked to the contaminants. However, the temporal connection may be a major factor in cases involving illnesses that are not strongly linked to the contaminants. Another important factor will be time spent at Camp Lejeune. All other factors being exactly the same, people who were at Camp Lejeune for longer periods of time will likely have stronger claims than folks who were there for only a short period of time. Now, this makes sense, right? The longer you're exposed to contaminants, the more likely you are to get sick because of those contaminants. Finally, we're going to be talking about the severity of a condition. Obviously, the more a person has suffered, the more money that person should be entitled to. Therefore, people who have conditions that cause serious suffering or death are likely going to have stronger claims than people who suffer from less severe conditions. Now, this is true in most types of personal injury claims. For example, a person who's paralyzed in a trucking accident is likely going to have a higher value case than a person who just breaks a toe. So, the severity of the condition or illness will likely be a major factor in determining how much a person's Camp Lejeune claim is worth. Well, that's all I have for you today. Now, my law firm is constantly on the lookout for news about the Camp Lejeune water contamination lawsuit, and we're doing what we can to post content to try and help folks who are interested. So, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, and that way, when we post new content, you'll have access to it right away. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.